Now, when I was in Aqsa, I met a brother there who knew me from online and he said, look, I need to introduce you to a group, but you cannot take any pictures. You have to be on the low, don't come with anybody, just yourself in Masjid Al-Aqsa. And I said, who are these? They said, he said, we are giving da'wah to some of the Yahud, but we're doing it not publicly. Because if you do it publicly, there's gonna be a huge trouble. So I said, there are actually converts here in this land? And he told me this brother, we estimate at least 1,000 people have converted. We know around three, 400, and from those three, 400, we know that there are others. The majority of them are not saying anything to anybody. They come and learn what they need to and then go back to their daily lives. A few of them, a few of them are public, and a few of them have had to flee from their families and homes and come and find s shelter in uh, Muslim lands. And they have heard about you, they want to meet you, and, and, and they would want to sit with you. I said, of course, my pleasure, my honor to meet with them. So uh, after Salat al-Fajr, we prayed in Masjid al-Aqsa. We went to one of the offices uh, inside the, the, the complex, and we met like five or six of Israeli Jews who had converted to Islam, none of them had converted by one-on-one -on -one da'wah. None of them. Because that doesn't really happen. You know, in America, we have this, this freedom. You go in a booth and you give da'wah, you give pamphlets, you know, you, you knock on your neighbor's house, whatnot. There, as you know, there's a lot of, of religious segregation. There's no public preaching per se, even though theoretically it's legal, but you know what's going to happen if they actually do this, right? So each one of them, they had been guided to Islam on their own like just research and internet and, and, and buying pamphlets or, or doing this and that. And then they're contacting you know, Muslim families until finally there's this, a small group of brothers that they're giving da'wah in Hebrew. in Hebrew. And so eventually they're all connected to, to this group. And you know, you hear these stories from Bilal ibn Rabah, from Sful, and I'm not comparing astaghfirullah this to that, but you know, we've kind of sort of lost that level of iman in our Muslim societies. When's the last time you met somebody with that level of iman? We've kind of lost that persecution iman. But to meet these people in the very land that we know is the land of Mahshar and the land of Ard al-Mubarak, to meet the people. And they said to me, their families don't just view them as converts, their families view them as traitors. They have left the society and they have nowhere to go. They're being taken care of by poor Muslims here and there and they're giving up their society, their luxury, their life, and in this case, their children for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that is not going to cause us to appreciate the blessings of Islam, then what will? Brothers and sisters, let us always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted us this faith without us having to lift a finger. The majority of us were born into it. And even those who converted, yes, your struggles are more than ours, ours. But look at the struggles of the those brothers and sisters in that land. Remember in the Quran we learned that when the people of Jannah enter Jannah, what will they say? What will they think of? They will say as the Quran says, وَقَالُوا أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَا لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْلَا أَنْ هَدَانَ اللَّهِ This is a Quranic dua from the people of Jannah. Even when they get to Jannah, what are they thanking Allah for? أَلْحَمْدُ who has guided us to this hidayah. And we would never have been guided to this hidayah unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had guided us to it. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of Islam. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of the Quran. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of being of the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Barakallahu wa fi Quran al-Azim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihim al-ayati wa dhikr al-hakim. Aqulu ma tasma'oon wa astaghfiru Allah al-Azim ali wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin amkulli dhamin fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafoor al-rahim. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله